Now, a few ways on how you can heal this naturally is working on your lymphatic system as well as getting a female hormone balancer. Now, we have two blends that'll- Stop, stop, stop. We have to stop at that one. Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice in the NHS, and this is Ask Away Health. Today, I'm doing one of my responding videos, and this time is responding to a video I saw on TikTok talking about herbal uh, treatments or natural treatment for fibroids. So let me play the video for you. What's up, with fam? Brianna here. Now let's get into how you can heal your body of fibroids naturally. Now fibroids is caused by poor elimination of waste from the uterus. And if it's not eliminated quickly enough, your body will form a fibroid to hold up all of that waste and mucus for you. Now, if it's not resolved, then that can lead to it welding into your bowel walls and causing endometriosis. Now a few ways on how you can heal this naturally is working on your lymphatic system as well as getting a female hormone balance. Okay, let's just stop it. Let's stop it there because there is so much to unpack just literally in 27 seconds of video there's so much to unpack there so the first thing so this video really or this tiktok is really trying to encourage women who want to heal their fibroids naturally to go down this process no surgery no medication and i understand um, as a practitioner i've come across so many ladies and i understand the concerns that some of us have with regards to either medical treatments or surgical treatments possible complications and side effects i get that and so and um, people want to get something that is herbal or something that is natural because they think it has no side effects my concern with this particular video is that right from the get-go the information that is being shared is so false the information is so untrue and so i'm concerned that if you're selling a product based on false information how good is that product okay so let's go through the video let's play the first part of the video let's break it down and take it one by one like i said we're just going to review about 25 seconds of this video so it's not going to be too long so let us see what What's up with fam? Brianna here. Now let's get into how you can heal your body of fibroids naturally. Now fibroids is caused by poor elimination of waste from the uterus. And if it's not eliminated quickly enough, your body will form a fibroid. Okay, so let's tackle that first statement because I have so many issues with that statement. Fibroids are formed as a result of poor elimination of waste from the uterus, from the womb. And if that's not eliminated properly or quickly enough, fibroids form. That is so untrue. Fibroids are benign growths of the womb, okay? They are very common, particularly in a woman's reproductive age. So from um, late 20s, mid 30s onwards, that women can have fibroids and they're very common. It is true that modern medicine and science, we don't know exactly what causes fibroids. And there are many possible um, factors that we think are involved from your genes that is inherited, from your environment, from your diet, hormone imbalance, particularly excess, est excess estrogen imbalance, all these and others have been implicated in the cause of fibroids. Nowhere does it come near to suggesting that fibroids happen because of poor elimination of waste from the womb. Okay, let's think about waste elimination from the womb. What's been eliminated? The, the one that should come readily to mind will be your menstruation or menstrual product, which is eliminated from the womb every month. But how would that lead to fibroids? So menstruation really is the breakdown of the egg that's not fertilized, plus tissue and blood and all that is removed from the womb every month. Even if there was a situation where that could not leave the womb, that's a different condition altogether and it does not lead to fibroids. Remember that we can look at fibroid tissue under the microscope and there is nothing that links um, poor eliminated or failure to eliminate tissue to what we're seeing under the microscope. What we're seeing is actual womb tissue in those fibroids. They're just growing in an abnormal way and we don't know exactly why. There are different reasons. So from right from the get-go, that statement is wrong. Okay, let's see what else she says and if it's not eliminated quickly enough your body will form a fibroid to hold up all of that waste and mucus for you now if it's not resolved then that can lead to it welding into your bowel walls and causing endometriosis okay so she said that if we don't get the fibroids get, get rid of the fibroids it, it's allowed to continue it will melt to your bowel wall and cause endometriosis oh my goodness oh my goodness okay so that is not how endometriosis happens okay so fibroids can grow to large extent they can push against different parts of the um other organs in the bowel sorry other organs in the pelvis yes they can cause problems like constipation or cause problems passing urine uh, passing urine or even cause leg swelling because they are pressing against different tissues and pressing against different organs 
But to say that that leads to endometriosis is completely wrong. Endometriosis is a totally different condition where fibroids is benign growth of the womb muscle. What you have in endometriosis is that tissue that normally belongs in the inner lining or inner layer of the womb now finds itself outside of the womb. That's totally different from fibroids. There is no way to conflate them. There is no way to say that fibroids start from um, waste products that are not eliminated and if that's not resolved, it then presses onto the bowel and becomes endometriosis. That is so untrue. But let us see what other nuggets are dropped next. On how you can heal this naturally is working on your lymphatic system as well as getting a female hormone balancer. Now we have two. Okay, so lymphatic system and female hormone balancer. I think what I what is what's really funny is how they're just tossing in the buzzwords, the things that will make us think like right, they must really know what they're talking about. Because yes, hormone imbalance is related to these conditions. The womb is under the effect of hormones. So I don't think it takes much to understand or to suspect that something is up with hormone balance when there is a problem with the womb in most cases so that's not big science the next thing they talk about is lymphatic drainage and what what, what that's nothing that's not special in terms of the way that the womb or the body works yes lymphatic drainage is extremely important it's one of the ways that the body is naturally detoxifying itself but to blame that as being responsible for fibroids and conflating that with endometriosis is so not true now if you have fibroids please get as much information as as you can by listening to authoritative health sources please sit down with your own doctor because no two women with fibroids are the same the way yours present might be different to the next person um, and you might have different range of symptoms some person may suffer with very heavy bleeding or very painful uh, very um, um distressing pelvic pain or other symptoms another person may be not having those symptoms but is struggling to have uh, to get pregnant so there are different issues and it's important to sit down at this time, we do have so many different options for treating fibroids. And yes, some of them are hormonal medication. Some of them are surgical interventions. Some of them are non-surgical interventions. Like I said, I have a playlist. Please go and check them out. But if you're looking at natural treatment for fibroids, please, you need to approach this with realism. Because many people are saying out there that natural products and herbs can cure or heal fibroids. That's not been validated. You might find some herbs or natural products that can help to deal with certain symptoms of fibroids to an extent so their benefit is limited and there isn't a lot of study i will grant you that we can do a lot more studies to find out exactly what and what these things can do but so far there are only anecdotal reports about the benefits of using natural measures or herbs and so on only for dealing with fibroids and so you need to bear that in mind and count the fact that you might be spending a lot of money and spending a lot of time pursuing a product that actually does not produce any benefit so please think of that guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this and if you want me to do more tiktok reviews in the future don't forget to check out the other videos of the channel and i'll see you again soon bye